Are Harry Styles and Kendall Jenner back together? Kylie Jenner gets radically transformed. And Zayn and Camila have a lot in common. All of that and more on today's Rundown. Uh-oh, Taylor and Tom might not be staying together too much longer. Oh, I'm gonna get us started after that <laughs> tease with Demi going butt up. September 2nd at her Future Now concert in Cleveland, Demi Lovato sang an Adele song. She sang When We Were Young. Oh, uh, I love that one. Well, here's how she did. She freaking killed that song. The quality of the video there isn't so great, but I hope you can still appreciate the vocals. Yeah. It just goes to show that Adele is so freaking talented. I mean, Demi's really great, but no one can do it like Adele. Wait, I thought Demi did awesome. I think she did great, but still Adele is queen in my heart. Oh my god. When it comes Gosh, to this song. Crushing all my dreams right now. Oh, well, get over this it. This is the first time Demi's ever performed this song. She said oh. it's one of her favorite songs ever. But also after the show, fans are really excited because Demi tweeted that she's working on new music. Oh. She said, studio bound, so excited for y'all to hear new music. Wow. Yeah, I feel like she just gave us new music, so this is a lot happening here. Yeah, I, I I wonder if it's like an album or just a single or a collaboration. Well, she did do Body Say, which wasn't on her album, so maybe she's just releasing singles right now. I hope so. But there's more over the weekend. Demi Lovato got some new tattoos. She Snapchatted herself on the tattoo table. So she used a bunch of filters, which was really funny as she was getting tattooed. And so on her wrist, underneath her Stay tattoo that she already had, it was Stay Strong, she got two huge Roses, not sure exactly what they mean, but they're very large. Also, it looks like celeb tattoo artist Bang Bang has given Demi some fresh ink on her back in some of these snaps, but it turns out it's on her rib cage and she got a huge dream catcher surrounding her existing script reading, you make me beautiful. I don't know if you guys noticed over the weekend, but Kai Lizzle walked us through step by step a massive transformation in her life. I was obsessed with these snaps. So yesterday, Sunday, um, she decided that she was going to go platinum blonde and she really went for it. So here's the before photo. She's sitting in the chair, getting ready to make her transformation. And then of course she's snapping every step, applying the color onto her hair, her waiting. I love that she combed her hair with a comb because she was itchy, which I totally can relate to. And then also her hair in the bowl, washing it out. And then in the towel. I mean, literally every moment of this transformation, I was like watching the whole time. And the reason it's fascinating is because this is actually her real hair. Like when she goes blonde, usually it's a wig. Yeah, no, this is the real deal this time. And I haven't seen it done yet. She hasn't showed the finished product to the world completely. But I, I wonder if it's maybe not exactly what she wanted. Or she's just waiting for the right look, the right moment. I think from what I could tell when it was wet, I think she looks great as a blonde. I wanna know what this is for. I feel like it's for a photo shoot or something special. I don't know, I feel like she gets bored. I feel like she wants to change things up pretty quickly. Like she always changes her hair color. Yeah, constantly. But this is a big deal. It is a it big deal. It had to be like Vogue magazine saying, Excuse me, Kylie, could you dye your hair blonde? Otherwise, we won't feature um, you. She's you know not I mean? gonna be on Vogue. Kendall just got on Vogue. That would be so I just rude. mean it's gotta be something big. It's gotta be something big. Maybe she's pregnant or getting ready for her wedding with Tyga. Speaking of Vogue, they may want to start rethinking the name of their company because it seems like Kendall would be a nice fit since she has been dominating Vogue recently. This time, she just landed the October cover of Australian Vogue and inside the magazine, to no one's surprise, she is looking stupidly gorgeous in these epic 70s looking setups. It's not even fair that she can be this beautiful and she has gray hair in this as well, not even fair. And during her chat with the magazine, she revealed that all this fame stuff, that she doesn't take it for granted, saying, when I was a little girl, I was always tall and lanky and super bottles were my superheroes. I would look through my mother's fashion magazine, dream of making that my reality. I would never in a million years complain about what's been given to me. This is my dream. I'm incredibly blessed. So a lot of people are saying when she says what's been given to me, they're like, yeah, you didn't earn it. You were given this career. Oh, come on. But she, she does work hard. She does work really hard. I think yeah. out of all of the Kardashians, she's the one who's really planted her feet in this industry and is really working to become an epic supermodel. Anyway, I digress. Other Kendall Jenner news, she and Harry Styles are possibly
possibly back together. So they what? were spotted over the weekend together out in LA at a dinner. We don't know if it was romantic or not, but they were together. An onlooker said that Kendall was, quote, beaming all night. And the sources are saying that Kendall has always cared about Harry and that they're trying to spend more time together again. And that she is thrilled that they are rekindling their romance. You know, they were spending a lot of time together at the beginning of this year, and then they broke up a couple of months later. So I wonder if this is like a timing thing for them, because Harry just finished yep. filming on Dunkirk, his new movie. Um, summer's always busy for models. I don't know, maybe they're just, the timing wasn't right. Or he was just in town and said, hey, Kenny, want to grab dinner? Remember there were mm. rumors about her dating ASAP Rocky and then Tyler, the creator. Yeah. I think that maybe she's just having fun and she has guys as friends. Now for a little bit of sad news, oh. another major pop star is taking a break due to extreme anxiety, which is no joking matter. We're talking about Zayn Malik this time, oh, no. one of Aaron's favorites. Remember we just told you guys that Selena Gomez announced that she'll be taking a break after her revival tour in December for the effects of lupus and depression and anxiety. Now Zayn, he put out a statement because he's canceling a major show October 7th in Dubai for lack of confidence. So in this statement, he said in part, I have been working over the last three months to overcome my extreme anxiety around major live solo performances. I feel I'm making progress, but I have today acknowledged that I do not feel sufficiently confident to move forward with the planned show in Dubai in October. And then he thanked fans for supporting him globally, and yes, ticket holders will be refunded. I mean, it's really serious when you have to put out a statement, right? Yeah, and I feel like this is happening so often with him. I feel like every other mm. performance he's canceling. Right, well, so it's only been, really been like six months or a year since he's had this big solo career Career. And three months ago in June, he canceled that show in the UK for yeah. anxiety as well. And he says he's been working on it, but clearly hasn't gotten better. And it's just so surprising for a member of One Direction, the biggest band ever. Yeah, and we never heard about it until he went solo because when he was with One Direction, he always showed up you and can, did his job. You can hide behind the four other guys yeah. if you're in a band. I guess that's true. I hate that because he is so talented. I think this is going to hurt his career, not being able to fulfill the duties that he promised, right. like not showing up and canceling shows his, his fans are gonna get it. yeah i think it's i think it's gonna be hard for him if this continues i hope he gets some help you know what i blame is social media because now mm. if someone messes up everyone knows about it yeah you don't just get to do that in front of the 10,000 people you're with and then they forget about it everyone in the world knows if you mess up you or know. you do something wrong now and there's so much pressure behind that also over the weekend camila cabello had to leave fifth harmony's show in missouri early due to anxiety as well. So she walked off stage, right? Yes, she left the show early and did not come back. Oh. And uh, I think they told the audience it was a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, don't lie. Just yeah, say. I hate this trend I though. I know, I know. Well, she did come clean on Snapchat actually and she told fans what was going on. Hi Missouri, sorry I couldn't finish the set last night. Was having too much anxiety and couldn't finish it. I love you, I'm truly sorry. Mm -hmm. And she did tweet Friday, just want to sleep for three days, so hopefully she got all rested. And it seems like she did because by Sunday, she made an appearance at Fifth Harmony's Dallas show and all seemed well. Well, there seems to be a lot of trouble in paradise for Swiddleston because a lot of outlets are reporting that they are not really getting along right now. I'm not sure if this is true or not. These are all rumors as of right now, but I will break down what sources are saying. So page six has a source that's saying that Taylor suspects that Tom is using her for her fame to boost his kind of Hollywood profile so that he can land big acting gigs, like his rumored role as James Bond. Now, apparently Tom wanted the two of them to make a public appearance together at the Emmys coming up. He is nominated, he will be attending, um, and Taylor, apparently wants the complete opposite of that right now. She wants to stay private. The source said, quote, she tried to be okay with it in the beginning, but fears he's in love with the idea of her and not falling in love with her for the right reasons. Taylor is an independent young woman and doesn't feel like she needs a boyfriend to make her feel complete. And then the sources are also saying that Tom is, quote, sick of being Taylor's glorified escort. And he thinks that People are going to be laughing at them, that they're gonna become a laughing stock due to Taylor's reluctance to be seen at public events with him. Um, and he's apparently done with it. It bothers him that they have become known as this faux man's laughing stock relationship. But to Taylor's defense on this, she's never really walked a red carpet with a boyfriend before. So I feel like if this is true, I think that's asking a lot of someone that you've only been dating for like four months. You yeah, know? I think it's a fair fear of Taylor's that mm. Tom wants to use her to up his Hollywood status because I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Tom Hiddleston
Jason is not really a leading man. No. He's like the villain or the cool sidekick. Like, Quirky. he wants to be a leading man. I could see Taylor helping him do that. Yeah, I, I, I really thought these two were a real deal. But when he wore that Taylor Swift shirt for the 4th of July, like I heart TS on it, I was like, mm, something doesn't feel right about this. But all the theories about them shooting a music video, all the theories have to make you wonder if it's not real, Erin. I know, I know, I'm starting to question it now. Ugh. But no one will know for sure, only Taylor and Tom know, and I do, secretly wish the two of them would show up at the Emmys together. Even if they don't walk the carpet, I hope she comes with him. And supports him, it's yeah. a really big night I for him. I think that will be a true telling moment of where their relationship is at. Yeah, because where there's smoke, there's fire. Ooh. All right guys, are Harry and Kendall, are they back together again? Let us know what you think in the comments. And also, I wanna know if you agree with me that Demi should be covering Adele, or do you agree with Erin that maybe she should not be covering I didn't Adele? say that. Yeah, but Erin's really sad today, you guys. I have to tell you, this might be my last EHR for just a while. I'm going on a new adventure in Denver, but I'll still be working for Clever behind the scenes, writing and producing, so you'll still see me through the internet somehow. <laughs> and you can always find me on my YouTube channel, Misty Kingma, if you want to see more of me in the flesh. Or on the socials. On the social needs, just at Misty Kingma, pretty much everywhere. My heart hurts so bad. I know, we love doing DHR together this so much. Thirsty, the end of a generation of DHR together. You know what, it might come back. It's just a little <laughs> break while I go on a new adventure. Uh, so thank you guys for all the support. I love you guys so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Show her lots of love in the comments too, by the way. We love you. All right. You're my favorite. Love you. Mwah. Watch Justin Bieber give rude vibes during a BBC interview in that box on the left. And on the right, Zayn collabs with MIA on a new song called Freedom.